welcome, Pam. We're glad to have you on New Neighbor Pam Sellers with us today. So, um, after I get an approval of the agenda and in lieu of public recognition, I let you tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. So, um, do I have a motion to approve the agenda? Motion to approve the agenda. Second. Okay, I have a second. Um, Joanna, did you want to amend the agenda to include the? You know what? Um, no, but I would like to state to have it on the July um, agenda, just so that that way, um, if someone wants to come and speak, you know, um, how much they love Alicia, <laughs> public comment, it can be in July. Okay, so we will um, postpone the personnel committee report until mm -hmm. July. And then that way, also, you guys can have the time, those who weren't the committee can have the time to look at the evaluation. So do you have copies of that, or do you see? I'll email it to you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I have a motion and a second on the floor to approve the agenda. Um, all in favor? Uh, uh, any opposed? All right. Um, we're now with no public recognition and no one time to speak. We're going to go to item number four, which is kind of new, but Shannon is now a commission representative on our library board. We haven't had one of those since Larry Hinton went off the library board and he was a county commissioner and a library board member since the beginning of time, <laughs> um, almost. So this is kind of new. So we're going to add that just, and especially now that it's focus season, and let Shannon um, give us a little report and a little overview of the from the commissioner. Uh, well, or whatever. Yeah. Just, okay. yeah. I did know. Okay. I, mean, I always take notes, but I always prepare. Um, so I just have a few things I want to talk about. Um, one of note, and I guess I should have forwarded that email to y'all. I am I have a library card at Billingsville Library, which is National Public Library, and they sent, um, and I pay ten dollars a year to have the online. Otherwise, it would be free. So I know our Sumner County residents have can go and have a library card there. And I know we all have a lot of homeschoolers that use the library. And I know when I was homeschooling, I used interlibrary loan a lot because books are out, out of print or whatever. And um, they are going to stop offering interlibrary loan to out-of-county residents due to the cost. So y'all might want to contact them um, because this is going to affect your circulation. Is this all Yes, it's National Public Library. It's all their branches. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all, yeah, it's all. So I wanted to let y'all know that. And then the workshop for budget, um, the, we did not, well, I'm not on budget, but I sat through the hearings from 10 o'clock in the workshop. Um, we did not workshop the library. I know there was some discussion about the salary librarians that make less than 58, whatever, and some change that in January. So I know he put libraries off, and that will be um, on the 16th at 4 p.m. That's a special call. Well, that's a special call, the budget workshop. So that's when y'all will be there, too. You might want to come or send a representative. Or I will be here as a trustee um, it's um, May 16th at 4 p.m. Yes, they'll be in here in room 112. Um, and I know, and I want you all to know I finished all of my 10 training classes yesterday. And, um, and I'm assuming now that it said that the trustee should be here for budget. I'll be here. But I don't know that I could answer any detailed questions because I'm not, I'm not a Susan, I'm not a Jackie Wilbur. So, and then the I last, like and, the last <laughs> and the last thing I want to discuss is, um, I went to Monday's um, um, Alicia's review and noticed that we don't have the owl there and um, the, um, and Joanna stated, you stated that it was because we did not, it was not in our policy. Mm -hmm. But, and, and I talked to legal, 
And they said that you don't have to. You want that. And there are citizens who cannot attend these meetings due to the hours or whatever. Or maybe they just don't want to come or can't come. And we need to have that sunshine on everything we do. Every committee meeting, every one of these board meetings. Um, there's so much scrutiny surrounding the library board right now in the public that all the sunshine we can get is the best thing that we can do. And personally, using a personal recording, voice recording, that you take home, and while that would be valid in court, he said it would be valid in court, it is, does not have the stamp of the law on it, like these lights, like this, or the owl. And the, or the stamp of the government. And I'm going to request from here on out that we have that. So no one in the community can say that we're obfuscating or that we're hiding things or that we're not using sunshine. And that's what I'm going to ask right now. And if it is not carried out, then the commission can take steps to force it through a resolution. So I just want you to know that. And that, because the owl that this protects us, protects the board, it protects the county, it protects the directors. And that, that is the last part of my report. So thank you. Thank you. And I know that we voted on the bylaws this month, a year ago. Mm -hmm. So we need to take a look at them every year. Mm -hmm. We don't have to rewrite them, but we can. So that is something that we could probably add the language to in the bylaws and as we convene a policies and bylaws committee and just have that language and that would take care of that. Um, Joanna? I, I just wanted to comment really quickly and, and I, I did talk to legal as well and um, he said that I just need to create a folder and upload that so that it is available for the public. So I will be doing I that. I appreciate that. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, yes. I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that you but can't But I'm do going all. to go further and so okay. That this board serves at the pleasure of the county commission. The county commission is requesting. Commissioner Mansfield insisted that we have an owl when he was on the other commission for this type thing. And the owl is what we should be using. And if we cannot use the owl, because I know it's a pain to have to drive up here, get out of the closet, haul it to wherever you're going, then we can have the meetings here, all the meetings here with the wife. And that's what I'm requesting. And I would appreciate it here for that. Yeah. But I think we can put one of in the bylaws. Okay. And that way, and like you say, you do have to haul it, but if, if Stephen has offered to bring it to some of our mm -hmm. meetings, because we did take some of them, we have taken it to the meetings before yeah. for other meetings. So when Stephen said, well, I'll be glad to bring it to when he's coming, but we can get, and right. I don't have to come back to you. Okay. So uh, that, that's not a yeah. thing to do. Yeah. If you just remind me. Right. Know, no, that's okay. We need right. to do that. Okay. Um, with that, we'll move on. Um, I have approval of the minutes from November the 8th, 2023, and November the 22nd, 2023. I do have copies of those, Pam, if you would like to look at them, please, um, real quickly. And, um, while you're doing that, I will. <coughs> do I have a motion to get them on the floor? Thank you. A motion okay. to get them on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. okay. Erica Grammer. Um, <coughs> so we'll give Pam just a second. We had the special um, the work study in March, and Gabby or Amy took minutes for us. And I haven't received a copy of those. So we can just state now that we will look at those work study minutes. And it was on my house. We can look at those in July. Okay. We can put those in July and approve those because they were a work study. She's referring no, to the work study. Oh, the work, work study. study. Yeah. No, <coughs> meeting, yeah. no, it was it was a work study. Yeah. You so, we don't um, vote on anything. It's not a we didn't call. vote on anything. It was a more basically get acquainted catch up because we didn't meet in January mm -hmm. and we got to hear reports that caught us up and that sort of thing. So it wasn't anything we voted on at all. Mm -hmm. But we did have we did have minutes that were recorded and we did record it on the aisle. So. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can put those in July if 
we need to make it safer for us. And we can learn to rely on that. So. Can you make that look at one of those? I forgot to bring my copy. I thought I had a question in one of them. The A to the 22nd. You know what you're not looking at right now. So the motion is on the floor. If there are any questions or discussion or We're looking at the eighth. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew that I had I had two three computers going. I know I had all of them checking up. So, um, but um, like I say, that was we didn't vote on anything, so it's not anything that has, and we can wait till July just to get it in the record. The second one on November the 22nd was a special call okay. because there were things added to the agenda and the public did not have a chance to speak to it. So we addressed okay. part of it is on the 8th and then finished it on the 22nd. Okay. Well, the public was able to speak to, to, both meetings. Meetings. to it at both meetings. We, we took public was not comments. Data put out in enough time for them to be able to yeah. see it at the right time. And um, and on one we did we went ahead and took we heard director reports and things like that that we didn't have to hear necessarily in the same um, legal recommended that we have the special call meeting. Okay. Yeah. To give public enough time to sure to get the documentation. When you uh, Pam when you take your class you know, Cecilia? No, not yet. Okay, well, she'll get linked into the classes, and they will talk about open meetings. Okay. I didn't know, but I think after you do them, but they'll talk about that. And those, but those are old recordings, mm -hmm. and so the open meetings law requires that we publish the agenda with the notice of the meeting. It has to be an adequate amount of time. And that is not just for commission. It applies to any board that is funded. Sure. Any, because the, the libraries are funded by the county commission. Mm -hmm. So anything that's funded by the county commission has to be Even tourism. And it's a 501c6 that they have to as well, because they're funding all the seven five flows through right. the county. Right. Okay. okay. That's, yeah. that's, Makes sense. I think. So in case you're ever chairman. Yeah. <laughs> You'll want to know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, these I did. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. I, they have the special the staff was the special the staff that did. Yeah. That uh, was the secretary. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Susie only does regular schedule. If we have anything else, somebody else has to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.
Um, no, Joanna, did you have any questions or anything? No, I I just realized I left those at home. Okay. I thought I had questions, but if anything, I'll ask to amend them that last time, but I don't, I don't think there was anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we have a motion and yes. a second on the floor. Um, do I have, I've got a motion to approve. We'll do both of them at the same time if you don't have any objection to that. So, um, all in favor of approving both sets of minutes, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. I would say because I was not present. Okay. Okay, on to old business and that uh, the facilities committee report and um, we are down to one facilities committee member. Hi, I can't so, wait um, over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, we are going to wait and see. I want you to think about committees. I will get you a copy of the bylaws. I can email those to you okay. and get you a copy of the bylaws. Let you read about the committee. And Shannon, um, at the same time, and just kind of just give some feedback, and um, because you just need to know what you're getting into sure. before you actually volunteer to, okay. to do that. Okay. Um, so, Kaylee, make some notes. Do you want, <laughs> we don't need a motion to hear her report, do we? Do we need a motion? To no, 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 all right, so oh, my God, former, okay. Yes. okay, great. My former board member Debbie Martin and I were able to make it to Hendersonville and do their walkthrough back in December. Um, thankfully, she was able to get to the other four libraries before resigning and they were all up to date. After reviewing the reports that I have received, Hendersonville and Portland, Portland went very well. Only minimal issues that have already been taken care of or have a plan to be taken care of. Debbie had mentioned that Gallatin had a few issues that we may need to address, like more parking and adding changing tables to the main level bathrooms. In her report from Millersville, she mentioned the lines of the parking spaces were very worn and needed to be repainted, but that Amy was looking into that cost. She also noted a few helpful comments like adding more directional signs to the library as well as security cameras for safety. I have not received a report from Westmoreland, but when I do, I would be happy to report on that facility as well. I'll forward these reports to the rest of the board members for review. Thank you very, very much. May I ask a question? Yes. yes. Um, what did you say Portland needed? I didn't get that. Uh, it looked like that everything that they had uh, oh, addressed okay. was already being taken care of. Okay. We can, I know Anita. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just listening yeah. from your yeah. report. Anita. She needs a mom She fixed now. everything. She fixed everything <laughs> herself. Yes, yeah, this is very new. Yeah. Yeah. And that actually, at that time, was one of the problems we were having also was uh, the roof was leaking some and we had some stain on some tiles. Uh -huh. um, Stitch and I recorded this today yeah. and it's saying we reached out to the city and they also got this on your roofing and that has already been fixed. Okay. Yeah. And um, I will address in the workshop in March. Um, I got in touch with Toby Ellis for um, Amy and Lauren. Did, did he, they call you back? He did. Yeah, I did, uh, yeah, yeah. So he's our road superintendent. Okay. And I know he he did not do the striping, but he could put them in touch with somebody who could. Okay. Okay, so it's since you're on facility. Yeah. What was his them. name, Toby? Toby, Toby Ellis, Ellis E L L I S, and he is a road superintendent. Yeah, I made the board aware real quick. I just got a message from my library saying they are sheltering in place right now. Pretty important. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 345. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were sheltering. Uh, where is the shelter? Uh, we have a hallway that's kind of between the staff bathroom and the, the so work room, so it's kind of a very close area. The back area. hallway. The back hallway. Yeah. You left us in Portland, don't you? Well, I'd rather be right here. Okay. <laughs> I know. 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 I
lot, the new the courthouse parking lot. Count there is some discussion about will the county own it and or will it just be a joint thing? But they discussed the parking in Gallatin because were they going to charge money to park at that parking lot at the courthouse? And the discussion did come up. People that don't want to pay to park at the courthouse are going to park in the Gallatin parking lot, the library parking lot. So, um, Gabby, I know you're not here, but I'm sure you'll watch this meeting. <laughs> you are being discussed, and so is your parking issue. So, I wanted you to know that. I, and I don't know, I don't know, I was even thinking, certainly the staff at Gallatin Library may end up needing parking permits. She may end up having to do some type of parking permit. I don't know how that'll work, but she, because I was thinking about that. So since I'm talking out loud, I'll call David Klein, who's on Gen Off, about possibly her issuing parking permits to people who have library cards. Or, you know, or maybe putting out yeah. signs saying for library. Like, but a sign won't, it's not ticketable. <laughs> a so, parking permit right. that you put, that you have that's issued with your library card that you would put in your thing. What I was referencing was um, for the employees, maybe designating employee, library employee parking spot. You know what I'm saying? Right. But for, for at least the employees. But for it to be enforced, I think there has to be something more than a sign. Like you, you can park in a handicapped parking spot if it is not noticed with a sign with the fine. That's what so I think. the cost of the signs may uh, be more prohibited than the permit. So I, I'm just thinking ahead because I don't know how they're going to deal with all of this in the as we go forward. And the part and the courthouse open um, I think June second. No, that's a Sunday. They're doing a walkthrough at the end of May. So it's June third, I guess, is when they open. So this is going to become a sudden, yes. This is going to become a need right away. Yes. yes. And it's one of those things that you don't think about until it becomes a problem. You know, I'm, I'm glad they're yeah. being proactive yeah. and thinking yeah. ahead. Well, what are we going to do with these people and how are we going to? And Christian Towers gets to park in that parking lot too because they gave their property at that parking lot and they get designated parking spots. So good news is they're looking at a $5 fee to park. Not twenty five. No. Okay. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I right. But I'm just telling you all that if you go down there, the fee is not going to be Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And um, so I do know that um, the Baptist Church there has several places, and they have always been when Gabby had her own in the house. Mm -hmm. They've always been very gracious and understood the love of there. But now with it being a different problem, that may be something that has to be worked out as well. Yeah. I want to echo the consideration we were saying. It was because I think the length of the table was, and we were also saying, in consideration of Portland Library, mm -hmm. we also want to remember your household and then her household because they're in the same place. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Thank so, with her on the phone, she's in communication yeah, with her family. With my husband, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just make sure you're also that. under the same thing. Okay. Well, let's just move on. Yes. 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 The new business is, it is May, and according to our bylaws, it is the month to elect officers. So, um, and we need to look at chairman, vice chairman, and we have no secretary, we have no treasurer, because they have both resigned in the last uh, little bit. So um, we can just take it one at a time and go from there and uh, get a slate of officers to be in accordance with the bylaws. So I will open up the floor and I will take nominations for the office chairman of the library board. I would like to nominate Joanna of the chair. All right, we have a motion and a second. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> um, are you fine with that? You don't train me? Huh? You don't train me? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. 
if you find that if your schedule going to allow it. So I know you said it. I am praying that everything is all good okay. and um, no one knows what's going to happen in the future, but yes. Yeah. Right. So um, with that, we'll let nominations cease and we can vote yes or no on Joanna Daniels as the chairman. Okay. Um, I'll do a roll call vote. Shannon? No. Joanna? Yes. Erica? Yes. Jim? Yes. Pam? Yes. And no. I'm going to say no. And Kaylee? Yes. So we have a new chairman that will take over in July. So uh, congratulations. Thank you. Now, um, vice chair. Do I have a nomination for vice chair? I nominate Jim Holcomb. Okay. I second that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you so yeah. <laughs> 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 so Can you find a present? Okay. All right. So I have a nomination in a second, and Jim's name is on the table. So um, we can vote on that. Is Do have to do so many things. Wow. So, so 
Thank you for that. <laughs> Do you have a weather report for us? Or a, uh, they say it's going to make it one fourth point. Do you have a weather report for us? Yes, there, there is one it's on the ground. It said it's going to drop in and yeah, so we're we're the the We are praying. Uh, man, well, let's, let's get this done. Uh -huh. So, we good. Um, we good. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, she just sent it today, though. Yeah. Um, and I know that I just I just got it today, and I don't think Pam has had a chance to look at it. Um, so my question is. Does this have to be signed this today? Because she sent it no, literally think, last um, minute. I'm not sure. But I think we got it until July. We signed it late July. Yeah, we did. And we, we were late. But we signed it even later than that. But they do withhold funds if we don't sign it. Right. The state withholds funds if we don't sign it. We had this conversation well that, last year. That's yeah. right. She, I don't think we signed it. Yeah. But if we sign it in the first meeting in July, then everything is fine, yeah. right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. What um, my my feeling is, and if we do have a work study in June, so if we have to do a special call meeting to make sure that it's signed in June mm -hmm. to make sure, mm -hmm. but that way it'll give. Um, and Janet, have you seen one of these before? That's what I'm looking at right now. Okay. It's a service agreement. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you might. Hard no, that's okay. Hard time. My my motion is to allow us to to take a look at it and to let Pam and Shannon. Well, I don't think we really have to ask. I mean, that's just oh, okay. 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 So this is just what. She okay, said. got it. Does so, this affect our funding if we don't sign it today? I think not no. today. I really, uh, truly, we were late. Like, yeah, oh, we were okay. late, and the funds yeah. were withheld last year. But if we do it by July. The fiscal year, the funding. Year. It was handled August, September last year. That's why yeah. it was so late. So okay. July was. We just don't get our state federal funds until it's done. Yeah. So that's when did they release them? Yeah. So it will be working in March that you didn't get the funds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just want to make sure because we're in budget. Yeah. I don't want budget chairman. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 that's it. Calling me. I need to wait to see my budget. When did they release? When did they start releasing those in July? We did like a first quarter, like first of the year, and then like October is all the things on. They release the rest of them. Okay. So you don't get shut down. So you won't get your Sunday until August. Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, and when you, if you go back to Can look you at her that information again, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, if you go back to look at the, her email, mm -hmm. she's even got a place there you can click to sign up for it. Okay. It's a virtual workshop, professionalism in the workplace. Kimberly May. Brown is the, um, and it's May 28th, 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Are those mandatory? No. Okay. And they are. They are designed for staff. We are always invited at any time to click in oh, right. or yeah. The next library director check-in will be May the 28th, 10 to 11. Uh, library statistics and training is the discussion. So um, I'm sure it'll be exciting. Um, and she sent me a statistics are just you know. I get lost. She sent me a flyer and I printed it in black and white. But it's for mentorship. And um, it's a mentorship, and they are sending um, a mentorship program between the librarians in Tennessee with a, a network of librarians and a library staff similar in New Jersey. So it's kind of a almost like ten times, I guess, and that sort of thing. Um, have you all have you done that before? We did it through the online group. Sort of done stuff with it.
and I went to that last year, and it was it was really good. Um, and they get more funding the more trustees right. go. Yes, you do get yeah. credit for every for the that every workshop, day. especially. I remember Joanna coming back with we a lot. I was just coming out of wedding season, um, but she was came back with a lot of information. Was really excited about these. It's really, it's a very good thing. Yeah. Uh, the tech grant. It's like an all-day. It will start at eight. They'll probably start registering at eight, and it will end at two thirty or three. It's an all-day grant. Yeah, Brentwood. So you have to leave here at 6 o'clock to get there. Um, the tech grant application deadline is June the 17th. Uh, there's a scholarship that are available for Southern Library Support Staff con Conference. And the 2024 conference embracing change and forging the future of libraries, May the 29th and 30th of 24. And it's at Vanderbilt University. And if you go to that email, you can click there to access some more information. You all may know how much is there, what's the fee, what's it, you don't know anything about it either. Oh, okay. Well, this one is next. So if you want to learn more about it, and scholarships are available for the support staff conference, it won't include that. The trustee certification program, um, on the Update on the trustee certification. Joanna and I are the only two that are certified trustees at this point, except for the fact that Shannon finished hers yes. last night, so we now have three. Because it's my job to save the county money. Yeah, right. Y'all get money from other sources. <laughs> yeah. I did my job. <laughs> and um, Kaylee, Kaylee and I have been in communication with her. We're yeah. we're in the register. Yeah, okay. And he said she said she has a note completing the program will likely affect the library's tech grant award. So if you haven't done so, please consider doing it before the end of May. So um, the Tennessee trustee certification is 10 modules. All the trustees should complete it within their first year. It's easy to register because she gives you a link in the email. Mm -hmm. And if you ask for a password, please use Tennessee Lab. The LIB guide, and all, and it's in, it's all in the email. And then, if you have any questions, Matthew Kirby is the contact. But it's all in her report. And Pam, you won't get that until after you meet with Cecilia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and do I need to initiate that with her, or will she contact she will. you? She will contact you and do it. She will do a new uh, an orientation with you. Okay. She'll and um. Uh, okay. I had a house destroyed by the tornado in Gallatin in 2006, so this is making me a little anxious, y'all. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, no. So, well, we'll quickly, if you need to go. No, it's okay. They're fine. I'm, okay. I'm making sure they're fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It is okay. My group is so fine, so they've gotten out of the hallway now. So okay. I'm still passed through now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard back from them, but I'm hoping that's this one. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, we'll go ahead and do very quick, and I know y'all are as anxious to give me a quick report as um, you are. So, the director report. Dallas is not here. Yes, yes, yes. Um,
we have, which we've tripled our programs, but we've also quadrupled like our wireless users and the, the meeting room users and stuff like that. So it's, it's grown, so we have talked about increasing the budget for personnel going forward. Um, we are doing a lot of outreach this month. We are going to Goodwill to do a resource fair as well as the Hendersonville Arts Festival to also be as part of the resource fairs and just really trying to get outside of the library um, if, when we can. Everything else is hard copy. I did warn you all that the book list was 27 pages and I completely lied. It's actually 78 pages for some reason my scanner stopped. So I do have a hard copy that I can
she doesn't have to. If that's something that y'all would prefer us to do, we can, but that's not something that's good. Well, we do that in the county. I just didn't know if y'all do that at the library. I just need a record of it. Like the IT department transfers it from Millersville ownership to ours in their records. So oh, that okay. they know where to find it. You know what? I'll, I'll ask about that. Yeah, um, like their inventory shows in ours. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah,
about a hundred and I think it's about a hundred and thirty something dollars. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We've had them before either because they are kind of expensive. And everything. Yeah. I can say as a would-be user. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. when that increases. Yeah. Because thank and you and, so and we also not only have Libby, we have the other one that's called Hoopla. I don't know if you guys yeah. have ever heard yeah. of it or anything. That's what it has on public library. We tried to do it. My husband yeah. was like, I will oh, never yeah. be able to get a movie downloaded for this. Yeah. Oh, we didn't like it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But I don't, we don't do a lot of electronic. I don't read any yeah. electronic yeah. online. I, I, mean, like, yeah. I listen to a lot of the audio books. Oh, yeah. And so I, I well, do. Well, I'll do it with you. I've gone from like just a couple of hundred to over 700 now. It's like, yeah, we have a lot of Oh, and one other question you mentioned. Yes. Have y'all y'all are all willing to do? So how is it? I'm asking because it was a big deal for the commissioner. Mm -hmm. How is it? Like what is it? I'm like learning it and everything, and, and everything does become just a routine. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Right now it's just a matter of oh I'm supposed to prove that oh I'm supposed to you know say like yeah. But y'all are in your training time right now, right? Yes. With the right now we're actually doing paper. Yes, right. we're doing paper timesheets and from those. And Annette is wonderful. Mm -hmm. She has just, I mean, every time I, I'm like, I got another question for you. She's like, <laughs> keep shooting. It's okay. You know. So. When I sat in the financial management meeting yeah. and watched it, mm -hmm. I, it made me want to cry a little bit. But I know in the long run, it's going to be better. Right. It'll work better for yeah. y'all. The only problem is, and, and libraries and everything are just a little different because we have such weird schedules. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like we may not work the same schedule every week or something or whatever. So it, it's just a little bit different. Are they letting you um, personal, personalize your parameters on there? Yeah. So you can, okay, good. Yeah. So, that, so it's not a blanket parameter. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, we work with Annette and she has, oh, yeah, oh, okay. we, we put right. in our schedules for it. Now. Okay, yeah. good, good. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank right. you from the, yeah. from the penny pinchers of well, the Really quickly, I just wanted to say that I became very intimately, um, involved with payroll okay. <laughs> on November, December, and January. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. Because yeah. I came to you, I came to you, and I was like, please explain this to me. And, so and there's like three different two-week periods that we were uh, I was just that. like, what? So when Cronus came along, and Annette was amazing with helping that, and I was, I've been watching as, as everything has been evolving and just wanted to say kudos to you guys uh, because I was just like, my head hurts from payroll. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. So, how's it going for you at Hendersonville? It is, well. Well. is it working really well? We have like currency some employees. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We can get there. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Like, the only thing I have seen is that they clock out like one minute before time. It would be the red flag on their time sheet. Oh, and I have some angle composure people yeah. that are like, don't look at that. I don't need that red flag. I can make sure you know. I don't want a red flag. I'd be that. I would understand. Yeah. I would want a red flag on Yeah. I would agree. I would agree. Exactly. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you, Nina. Thank you for your work. Okay. Uh, we have finished an hour, and everybody's going to get down at the same time, which is exciting and unusual for us. So, yes, Joanna. Okay, I did make a quick last comment. I just wanted to, um, for those new to, um, to, to hear, the officers, um, like chair and vice chair that already have people in it, we take effect July, but the two that are empty <laughs> take effect immediately. <laughs> so just oh. let y'all know. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, like, yeah. okay. you guys are immediately the treasurers. Oh, hallelujah. And immediately. Oh, my God. Welcome.